Yeah, the, mic, the mic's pointed straight down. I know, but should I put it on the other side then? No. Um, I, may I? Yeah. Um, if we do this and go like this, it, uh, it's still hide the wire. Now it's pointed right up at your mouth. Oh, okay. I just turned it's a lot it easier than it looks. Yeah, you're perfect. Yeah. Thanks. Cool. <clears throat> That's not mine. That's not mine. I don't know if you can hear me. No, mine was below that. Oh, okay, thanks. I didn't I wasn't sure if they could hear me or not. I think I said the same yeah, thing four times. <laughs> okay. Good morning and thanks for joining me for a WVUA twenty three college football recap. I'm Kylie Sullivan and today we're gonna take a look at some week thirteen games in Big Ten football. Purdue's 31 to 24 win over the Hoosiers was a team effort, but much credit is due to running back Markel Jones, finishing with 31 carries for 217 yards, Jones earned the fifth best performance of a Boilermaker since 1995 when Mike Alstott rushed for 264 yards. Jones stays humble in saying the offensive line was a big part of that win. They make my job pretty easy. This victory leaves Purdue bowl eligible for this season. Nebraska finishes their season with four wins and eight losses, the most losses in a Cornhusker season since 1957. The Iowa Hawkeyes turned their offense on and ended the game with a 56-14 victory. Running back Akram Wadley finished with 159 yards and three touchdowns to roll over the Horn Cornhuskers. This was the last game that Mike Riley will coach for Nebraska as he was quickly fired as their season came to a close. An undefeated regular season confirms the Wisconsin Badgers will face the Ohio State Buckeyes in the Big Ten title game, being looked at as a playing game for the college football playoffs. Wisconsin is coming off a 31-0 blowout over Minnesota, their 14th straight win against the Badgers. Both the offense and defense completely overwhelmed their rivals, allowing only 133 total yards of Minnesota offense, including eight first downs and three of 13 third down conversions. Minnesota finished the year by not scoring a single point in their last two games. As usual, Ohio State beat Michigan because that is what happens this time of year. Blowing the early 14-0 lead and then blowing the 20-14 second half lead, the Wolverines fell short to the Buckeyes for the sixth year in a row. Redshirt freshman Dwayne Haskins led Ohio State on three scoring drives in place of senior quarterback JT Barrett, who suffered a knee injury during the third quarter. For WVUA 23, I'm Kylie Sullivan. Thanks for watching and have a great night.